Select New Part Model. Open Part Model via File Menu. Or via File List. Show all files on the active folder. Browse the active folder. To open a file document, drag it to the screen or double click on its image. Cancel file list to return to feature slash commands tree list. Browse the feature slash commands tree list. Standard reference entities, planes, axis, and origin point. Bodies list. You can also check on the tree list how your model was built. Browse the list. Choose a model on the left column. Click and call Show Model Creation. Move up and down keys to browse the construction functions. Create a new sketch selecting a model face as reference. Select a face and click on Sketch button. A sketch is created with its toolbars. Also, a new empty sketch command list is created. Create a rectangle parameter window. The first rectangle parameter is a point. When a command is opened, normally two lines of information are shown on the parameter window the active parameter information, and secondly, the available operations options related to the active parameter. These options are activated through special keys. In this parameter, following special keys are available. Control key creates rectangle by center or vertex points. The F5 key opens the rectangle properties box. Space key disables information function. Space key two times associates the rectangle to a line. Tab key disables temporarily the auto information functions. As the rectangle command creates new geometry, a configuration block is automatically opened. You can set some parameters like colors, dash types, etc. As the parameter is a point, the standard information menu block for points is shown. You can set which auto information functions are default every time a point parameter function is shown. Auto information block is active. When the mouse is moved near the model edge entities or sketch lines, the related auto information function icon and point information are dynamically changed. Note here is shown the circle center point, but the cursor icon information changes to another type. This means that if the user clicks on that position, a relative point will be created with a reference point to the circle center point. Choose relative point to the circle center point. 
an ortho axis relative to the circle center point is shown. While moving the mouse to the desired position, you can click on the space key to disable the auto information option. If the relative point is active and you type the escape key, the information point returns to the reference information. In this case, the circle center point. Choose the position and drag the rectangle vertex or type the values for the length and height parameters. Create the auto dimension and x coordinate relative to the circle center point and the auto dimensions of the rectangle length and height. Click two times on the dimension to edit its position. The dimension position is prompted to be edited. Note that the text values of the dimensions have different colors. This means that they can be edited. Rectangle dimensions, distance and x sketch coordinate value relative to the circle center point. To edit it, click on the dimension plus the control key. Edit the values. Select some sketch lines to create fillets. Type F5 key to configure the radius dimension type options. Create an extrude feature from this sketch profile. Automatically, a horizontal extrude feature toolbar is opened. Select the cut option and the sketch profile. Drag the arrow to modify the extrude distance value. Apply the extrude cut operation. Create an extrude depth dimension. Note that this dimension text color follows the pattern defined for standard dimensions. This means if you click on the control key, the command slash feature that created the sketch slash model line will be edited and not the entity dimensional value of the sketch slash model line. Select the dimension plus press the control key to edit the entity value that the dimension references. This results in an automatic modification on the sketch geometry and thus the extrude operation result. The sketch and extrude operations are shown in the command slash feature list. Open the sketch command. Any command slash feature in the list can be edited by double clicking on its name or one of its entity slash faces on the screen. Create a feature mirror of this extrude cut. Select the feature in the list or click on one of its model faces. The mirror input indication of the selected feature is shown on the list of entities. As the existing constructive planes are hidden, they will become visible. Select an existing plane or one of the reference planes. Click Preview and finish the feature. Mirror Feature Result.